section 8-6, trapezoids. Um, we do need to do one more index card, and this is median of a trapezoid. Okay. Um, I'm going to help you fill in all the parts for this, so go ahead and follow along. The median of a trapezoid is the segment that joins the midpoints of the legs. The median of the trapezoid is the segment that joins the midpoints of the legs. Okay, so um, I'm going to draw a trapezoid. And by the way, if I put uh, 90 degrees there on one side, now, I could ask you, is this a trapezoid? Your answer to that is yes, because what is the only thing that it takes to make a trapezoid is exactly one set of parallel lines. Okay, so here's the trapezoid. If I put a 90 degrees in here, and you know that's 90 for sure, this is actually called a right trapezoid. Okay, now that's just a little extra. It does not have to be a right trapezoid in order to have a median. Every trapezoid can have a median. Okay, so by definition, the median of a trapezoid is the segment that joins the midpoints of the legs. So I need the middle of this leg over here. I need the middle of this leg over here. And let's put that piece in the middle, that brown piece right there. This is called the mid segment. It is literally the segment that's in the middle of your trapezoid. Okay. Now, how can I show that this is exactly in the middle? What does midpoint mean? Midpoint means I am exactly in the middle of the leg, but also, take a look. How can I express that on paper? Doesn't midpoint mean that it's going to cut that side in half, where that one piece is going to be congruent to the other side? Okay. Same thing over here in this leg. This leg gets cut exactly in half because that's a midpoint. So we can put congruency marks on each side of that leg. Okay, so this brown piece is a mid-segment. There are properties of a mid median that are going to be very useful facts for us. Okay. One of the properties of um, a median Sorry, I put the word mid-segment. Mary Collin is a median, so please change that to keep it consistent with this word here. Okay, this is called the median. Now, we have talked about mid-segment, so there's not a whole lot of difference between those two words, but this is the formal word that you will see. Okay, I apologize about that mistake. Make sure it is changed on your index card. Here are some properties of a median of a trapezoid. The median is going to be one half the measure or the length of the sum of the bases. The median is always going to be half of the sum of the two bases. So our next property, the uh, median is parallel to the bases. 
So we can just put another little parallel arrow. All three of those segments are going to be parallel. What is a non-example of a median of a trapezoid? Okay, here's a trapezoid. Um, if we have a segment that goes through the middle of a trapezoid but does not hit the midpoints, this is our non-example. we got to know that it hits the midpoints to be a median. Okay. All right, let's go over to this picture that I have. Please draw this in your notes. Um, we're going to start with just a trapezoid. And let me ask you here, let's call this um, M in here in the middle for median. I'm going to call this D, E, F, G around the edges. How do you know for sure that M, N is a median without them saying that word? If you're given a picture and you see these congruency marks and this half of the leg is congruent to that half of the leg, what do you know that M has to be? It's got to be a midpoint. Same thing over here. N, now even though this is not drawn to scale, because it does not look perfectly in the middle, if they tell you that these two pieces are congruent, you can say that has to be the midpoint because both of those sides, it's telling me it's congruent to each other. Okay. So what if I give you this information? What if I tell you that DE is 10 and GF is 45? I'm going to ask you, can you find the median based on this property that we know. Your median is always half of the sum of the two bases. So let's add together 10 plus 45, and then after we get that sum, we're going to take that number and divide it by 2. Now, does this make sense to you before we do this work? Um, being in the middle, you can think like the average. Okay, if we want to take the median of something, we want to get the middle of it, I like to think about average, because what's the average of two things? It's the number that's right in the middle. Okay, so this is going to be the number that's right in the middle of 10 and 45. So to find that number, 10 plus 45 gives you 55. 55 divided by 2 is going to give you 22.5. No, that's not correct. 27.5. Without a calculator, let's see how good I am. Okay, so check it. Your midpoint segment is going to be 27.5. Okay. There's one example of what you might see. Now, let me give you another example. And I'm going to tell you that your uh, GF down here is 86, and I want you to find this other one. Okay. Now, how are you going to find this other segment here? You can use that formula if you'd like to take, okay, half of, I'm going to put B1 plus B2. This just represents your two bases. If you want to kind of do this algebraically, and you want to punch in there, um, your median equals, okay, your median is 72, equals half of your two bases added together. Uh, one of your bases is 86. You don't know your other one, we can put x. You could work through this algebraically, and you could get x by itself, and it'll give you the right answer. Okay, but I want to think through this with you. I'm not going to work this out in front of you. If you'd like to write it down and work it and see that it gives you the same answer, go for it. Okay, but I want to kind of pitch this to you. We know that the median is the middle in between these two bases. Okay, so how can I find the middle of something? If I, well, if I know the middle, how can I find the other limits or the other um, boundary that I need? Watch this. What if we think about taking and say, okay, how many units or how many numbers are there between 86 and 72, okay? Um, when I go from 86 down to 72, how many um, are in between those two, okay? So we can find that out if we wanted to by doing a quick punch in our calculator. 
Take 86, subtract 72 from it to find how many is in between. There are 14 units in between 86 and 72. So how far am I going to have to go on the other side to get down to that lower limit here? Well, to be in the middle means they're going to be the same amount on this half as there is on this half. So from 72, I need to just take off 14 more to get this other side that I need. Okay, so um, what is 72 minus 14? Let's just uh, do some quick math here. 58 is going to be where we get down to. So if I know the middle number and one of my bases, why can't I just uh, find how many are between those? I've got to make the same number be in between these two as well to get that middle number. Okay, so you can check this. Let's do a quick check here. So what do we know about median? It's got to be the middle number between your two bases. So take a check. When I add my two bases, 58 and 60, excuse me, 58 and 86, when I get that number, we we'll divide it by 2 and we should get 172. So 86 plus 58, 144. What is 144 divided by 2? Feel free to have a calculator there. You don't have to do all your scratch work like I'm doing it. Please just punch us in the calculator. Less errors that way. Uh, what do you get here when you take 144 divided by 2? Check it. 72. Look. Is that what we should have gotten? Yes, it is.